Friends, I'm so glad that you started another daily walk with God. And today we're going to talk about a person named Naaman. You see, he almost missed his miracle. You see, God is asking you to listen to his voice. Don't be distracted. Don't be disappointed. Don't look at life and see how bad it is. And don't believe the lies that the news and other people are trying to make you believe. For there is hope in the Lord. Seek his way. You will find peace and joy and contentment. You will experience love and you will learn how to reflect agape from Jesus to those around you. You see in 2 Kings chapter 5, Naaman, a Syrian leader, was angry and even offended because he had expected a dramatic form of miracle to happen. He wanted a healing to happen in a way he envisioned it happening. But he had been told to do a very simple thing. You see, dip in the river Jordan and seven times. Perhaps he wanted to give up after the first time or the second time. And if he wouldn't have listened to those around him, he would have missed his miracle because he didn't expect it to be the way that God was asking for his life. You see, how often do we miss the miracle in our own lives because we're expecting God to work in a different way? My friends, keep seeking after Jesus. You know, I'm so worried that this age we're living in, this age of entitlement, that people hear bad advice that I must be first, and it must be my way, or it can't be anyone's way. You see, friends, we need to listen to God's voice and to seek Him, and then all these things will be added unto you. Alleluia! Peace and joy and contentment. There is an amazing way. Jesus is the way. You see, friends, the Bible records these lessons for us for a reason. The healing of Naaman is not just a story of healing, but it's one that overcomes the most dreaded disease of all time, and that is the salvation for you and I. One that illustrates that spiritual salvation is available for you, and you can find this through Jesus Christ. Come and find this salvation. Be a blessing. Go out and give them heaven, folks.